Hi, I am Artem Chubatko, and this is Introduction to Graph Analytics with Datastack's Enterprise Graph. It is a short course, but it relies on many, many concepts covered in two prerequisite courses. Please make sure you have prior knowledge of the property graph data model, graph schema, Gremlin traversal language, DSC graph architecture, DSC analytics offering, Spark Cassandra connector, Spark SQL, and data frames. You can review these and other prerequisite topics in our Datastax Enterprise Graph and Datastax Enterprise Analytics with Apache Spark courses. We begin with some important preliminary notions about graph analytics. Graph analytics is about delivering value from your graph data by combining and applying well-known analysis steps into a data analysis workflow. With the goal of doing data-driven decision-making, information discovery, graph exploration, and all kinds of ad hoc analysis. Such data analysis workflows are built using well-understood steps and algorithms like classification, clustering, regression, similarity matching, and so forth. These algorithms are frequently studied in one or more related disciplines, such as the ones shown here. In general, graph analytics is a very broad and complex field that requires knowledge and understanding of many disciplines. For example, graph analytics benefits from data engineering to extract, acquire, and prepare data. It benefits from data mining to find patterns and build predictive, descriptive, and other kinds of models. It benefits from statistics to analyze data and its properties. Graph analytics also benefits from visualization to improve sharing, reporting, and evaluation. Many real-life problems and data sets are naturally represented as networks, webs, or graphs. They also primarily focus on connections, links, relationships, and dependencies. Complex relationships such as those captured in the domains of Customer360, recommendations, fraud detections, and so forth are best modeled and traversed using graphs. Of course, this is not a complete list of graph analytics applications, but it is quite representative for DSC graph. It is useful to distinguish between real-time and batch analytics and understand how those are supported by DSC graph. Some analytical applications have real-time user-facing components requiring fast response. Examples would be recommendations, personalization, and fraud prevention. It is quite possible that a recommendation system has batch analytics components too. They may pre-compute recommendations overnight, but eventually recommendations must be served in real time by a recommender subsystem. Similarly, you may have a real-time fraud prevention component that makes a decision about the current transaction and a batch analytics fraud detection that analyzes many historical transactions to find fraud that was committed in the past. In DSC Graph, in some cases, real-time analytical steps can be implemented using Gremlin OLTP traversals with response times measured in milliseconds, or in case of infrequent traversals in seconds. Alternatively, one can implement near real-time analytics in DSA Graph using Gremlin OLAP traversals. For near real-time analytics, we are expecting a response time in seconds. Batch analytics would always rely on DSA Graph OLAP capabilities. Those are Gremlin OLAP traversals and DSA Graph frames. The two approaches complement each other in their capabilities. Gremlin ALAP traversals are automatically translated into Spark code and executed as Spark jobs. They are suitable for long running, computationally, and memory expensive traversals. DSC graph frames, while also have limited support of Gremlin, are frequently most valued for their ability to perform non Gremlin graph data manipulation via Spark, combining graph and non graph data for analysis, ingesting a data stream into a graph and bulk data mutations. To decide between Gremlin ALAP traversals and DSC graph frames, it is useful to distinguish between deep and scan queries. Deep queries are targeted traversals that hit large number of vertices due to a high graph density and longer traversal paths. Gremlin ALAP traversals will do best here. Scan queries are traversals that touch either an entire graph or its large subgraphs. DSC graph frames will be a better choice for scan queries. We cover both Gremlin ALAP traversals and DSC graph frames in much greater detail in separate videos. 
As a result, in DSC Graph there are two OLAP engines with different APIs and capabilities. These engines rely on Apache Spark but use different data abstractions. The Spark Graph Computer Engine is the primary engine for executing Gremlin OLAP traversals, which we already know are great for deep queries. The DSC Graph Frames Engine is the primary engine for executing DSC Graph Frame queries, which we said are good for scan queries. The two OLAP engines are starting to converge with intelligent analytics query routing. If you have a Gremlin OLAP traversal that performs a simple scan query, the Spark Graph Computer Engine will automatically delegate execution to DSC Graph Frames Engine. Currently, intelligent OLAP query routing works for count, group count, and drop queries that involve no more than three hops, use steps like has, has label, out, in, both, and out, e. The feature will keep evolving, so always check the documentation for the most recent list of requirements. Intelligent Analytics Query Routing is an automatic optimization feature that is implemented as a DSC Graph Frame Interceptor strategy. Therefore, if for any reason you need to disable rerouting for a particular traversal, it is quite easy to do by disabling this strategy.